Okay, we're gonna try this uh, practice cartridge out. So you get some better lighting there. There we go. Inert ingredients, practice only. I didn't read the package. I probably should. I don't know what's in here. I don't want to assume anything. Hopefully it's uh, the same gel-like substance without the capsaicin in it. But anyway, so it comes with this super flimsy cap. So if you keep this in your pocket, there's a good chance this is going to pop out. Or even a spare uh, pepper gel cartridge. And uh, I'm assuming you take off this red tip because I don't see where anything can come out of it. So we'll pop that tip off. Then, you take your deployment system, and it's got a, a safety feature where you have to hold this in in order to depress the deployment, the trigger. Got a little window that tells you the cartridge type. Pull that up or back. Let's see if I can get this one handed. Pop that open. And there you go, that's where the cartridge goes. And uh, you can see the mechanism. If I can get some lighting, I may have to use a flashlight. Yeah, we'll have to use a flashlight. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, of course I have a flashlight. The problem is, can I talk? Okay, so I don't know why I was trying to show you the trigger or the uh, safety without pulling the trigger because it doesn't work that way. So, there's that, and we're going to take this and stick it in here. Well, actually, it doesn't say practice on it, does it? Uh, but it should be ready to go. Take it outside to sh squirt it, shoot it. Re warning, read safety manual. Hmm. Where is the cartridge? I guess it would line up. Yeah, it's a two-sided window. So I guess it would line up to that Aim and Fire Pepper Gel logo on one side. I'll have to try that uh, when I put the live cartridge in. I'm not sure why they put, maybe just for aesthetics, but still. Kind of pointless there.
Yeah, a lot easier to open with two hands. Well, okay, so there we go. Whenever I get moving, I'll uh, give it a test shot. I guess I could do it in the house, but nah. Here's a grip shot, just so you have an idea of how it might sit in your hand. I uh, just want to quickly mention that if anyone has been commenting, which I know I've found some comments on some of these videos, that YouTube has done a horrible job of letting me know that I have comment notifications. So a lot of them do not, while 99% of them do not go, 99% <laughs> of them are unanswered by me, just because I never knew they existed. So, um... Yeah, so there's that, which is another reason why this is just a fun YouTube channel for me and really not meant for anything else. Um, so, just a heads up. I don't know how many feet away I am. What, maybe seven, eight feet? Okay, something's not working. So, this is why you're supposed to read instructions. Nothing in here talks about the red cap that I took off. And, upon closer inspection, let's see if I can get this to zoom. Upon closer inspection there is come on focus there is a tiny gosh this light in this car and this sunlight there's a tiny hole on this cap that I did not see so let's put this on the cartridge and try again so the red cap is back on the cartridge, or the canister, as they say. Let's try this again. Well, I tell you, this light and this phone probably should turn up the display. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Ah, uh, much better. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that was a stream. What is this, 10 feet away? Yep, still hitting the wall. What is this, 15 feet away? I don't know. Definitely not pinpoint accuracy. <laughs> So, they do recommend you spray, like that, but, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't smell anything in this inert cartridge, so, I don't think it says the ingredients, but, uh, it's like a water gun right now. Oh, it's out! So, the practice cartridge only had a couple shots in it, maybe three, probably if I did it quicker, but, uh, that's cool. I'll put, in, I'll put in the live one now. Hope I don't need to use it. Oh. It's still zoomed in? Nope. Okay. Okay. Take out the empty one. Remember, don't remove that. Just put that in there. And should be good to go. So the window, again, is supposed to tell you the type of cartridge, but that only works if you line it up. 
And since I only saw one type of cartridge, I'm not worried about it. Unless they have new cartridges that come out. But, uh, yeah, there you go. I should probably test fire the live one, but not right now. Trying to see if it says anything about the inert cartridge. I guess I could Google it, but it's really not important. Uh, and I wouldn't expect the practice one. It'd be nice if the practice one... Uh, safe at a distance, 15 foot. Doesn't really say how many shots you get. So, I would just... Based off of the inert cartridge, go with... For sure, a couple good shots. So, but there you go. Pretty cool. We've got a live, live uh, round in here. Rounds. Still kind of cool. I like that it's compact. Obviously, you don't want to be flashing this around uh, because it's not a real GUN. I mean, as far as it's not the type that you know shoots bullets. Uh, and you don't want to get yourself in a situation. But there's a lot of videos on YouTube about, you know, best times to use pepper gel, pepper spray. So, um, interesting. Interesting. So, now I got to fight the urge to buy another one. Because that's kind of what I have these urges to buy backups. And I don't always need backups. I already have pepper gel. So I got two pepper gels on me now. Don't need another one, just because just it looks cool. But anyway, there you go. I should learn to read. Reading comprehension is important. So it does say, first of all, powerful stream. So I don't know what I was expecting with gel, but it was a stream, not a mist. And it says 13 bursts. And I was holding it down for a bit, so I guess if you were to shoot it, like, you know, like a G-U-N, G-U-N, uh, you probably would get more. I was kind of holding it down, so I'll have to remember that. Maybe uh, just do some bursts until I see that it got them and just soak them. Yeah, interesting. 3.77 pounds? No, this does not feel like three pounds. I really should get a digital scale. This does not feel like three pounds. This feels like not even a pound. Yeah, maybe I'll do an update video when I get a scale. Yeah, 3.77 pounds. No, 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 no. Much lighter. Interesting, though. Kind of funny. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I think I'm done. Now I'm done. Time to start my day.